So there are two instances that I would like to share. That's why I told her to sit down. It's going to be a little longer. So one instance when it is when it comes to my mum, right up from childhood to today, it must be because I'm the only child. So she has always been there for me. Like you know, when I used to go for competitions and all, she used to give me so much of courage and confidence, and I never had to practice. That was the best thing ever, because I had like one artist with me itself. She would talk on the way. She would say, "Don't worry, dress up well, say nicely, this, that," and she was there till the end. I mean, who has patience to wait for like so many participants and all? So I would like to thank you so much, Mama, for always being there for me. Like how you said, your sisters, friends, and all that. When it comes to Dada, now here there will be a little bit mimicry happening. So I've always had funny moments with him. There's never a serious situation. Like I don't think ever he spied me or shouted at me. So there was this one instance when in college I was 11th standard. I never take him for a result report day, but I took him this time. And when we went, the teachers said, "Come in front." So I went, and he said, "Natasha, you have fared very bad marks. I'm very disappointed." And I was like, "Okay, sir." And then Dada soon pulled the report card from him and said, "Natasha." Don't worry, man. You passed. Are you sure? Passed the lad. Why you shouting? She didn't get time to study. Yeah. Don't worry. And the whole class was looking at me like, wow, your dad is so cool. Because at the side there was somebody shouting, oh, he got T sixty, not good. And I had just I think got passing marks, but he was so happy with it. Like, Don't worry, Nanda. I'm there, like you know. 